Coming to you from K-Scope 2019 in Seattle, Washington, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Groundbreakers team, and my guest is Christian Rokita. Christian, how are you doing today? Bob, thank you. I'm doing fine. It's a great conference, so I'm having fun. That's what it's all about. Tell the folks at home what you do and where you do it. I'm living in the Netherlands. Um, I work there. I'm originally from Germany and I've um, been living and working in the Netherlands now for around about 23 years. Being an Oracle developer, Oracle consultant, and next to my Oracle passion, I always had the passion for web development and web technology. And Fortunately, I can combine these two passions and, and uh, build web applications on Oracle databases. So I'm having lots of fun Good. doing what I do. Are you an independent consultant or do you work for a company? Uh, I've been independent for the last eight years till last year. And last year I joined iAdvice okay. uh, as a managing partner. So I had to take step back from being a developer and becoming a manager, which uh -oh. is different, uh, but I still, uh, I still know to find the buttons on the keyboard and... <laughs> do you still get to write code? Uh, yes, I do, yes. Well, I at least customers, there's that. Uh, and I'm building apps for the customers. And I'm, uh, the, the great thing about um, being a manager is you got to work with young people mm -hmm. and, and share your enthusiasm uh, with them and, and hopefully create a career for them uh, the same way I had uh, to build a career yeah. on, on working with Apex and Oracle. Yeah. Now, speaking of sharing enthusiasm, you have a session here at K-Scope, and I like this title because it's... Uh, 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 it's a Who reference. Yes. The, the session is called Keep Me Moving, Going Mobile with Universal Theme and Beyond. Exactly. So tell me about that session. Uh, the session is highlighting the new features in uh, the Universal Theme as provided with Apex 19.1, I guess, because uh, the previous mobile uh, theme, jQuery Mobile, uh, is more or less de-supported and because there was no new development and uh, as Universal Theme is the theme in Apex and me being interested in uh, user interface development uh, primarily, not primarily, but that's uh, a particular interest of mine. Mm -hmm. I've been presenting about over the last couple of years. Um, I, I actually use it in, in in applications, not so much for customers, but uh, being a proper nerd, I what do I do in my free time? I build applications with Apex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, uh, if you're building applications for uh, public-facing applications for normal users, the the, the crowd, uh, and you look at the behavior uh, using Google Analytics, you see that there's lots of mobile uh, device usage. So more. Almost more than 50% of the usage is mobile. That doesn't um, surprise me at all. Yes. So you have to adapt your applications to that particular behavior. Uh, and uh, Universal Seam has some excellent features um, that provide you with the possibilities to, to create such apps. Have, have you encountered clients or potential clients who haven't quite come to the realization that mobile is everything? Most of the... the consultants, uh, even the consultants and, and developers uh, here at the conference, will build uh, applications for internal use on desktops or laptops. Um, the business cases for mobile, yes, they, they are present, but not uh, that much in a business environment. Hmm. Um, I've created mobile apps for a customer that had specific mobile specifications for um, engineers in the field um, and yeah you see um, in companies where they have bring your own device you see tablets and tab but tablets are much more similar to desktops than yeah. uh, to smartphones uh, so I think it's uh, emerging but not yet important enough in a business environment what do you think is the toughest aspect of that transition for developers? 
The toughest transition is to realize that on mobile devices you you have to present data in a different way and you, you have to reduce the functionality of, of your application. So you might have, you, you cannot present everything you, you can present on a desktop application. And also Universal Seam is providing you with responsive features. Doesn't mean that um, the, the big report or the, the big form that you present on the desktop will be suitable for a mobile device. Right. So you have to rethink your, your application um, on what you want to present on a mobile device and yeah. how you want to present it to the user. It's, it's not only building application in a functional way, but thinking of user experience, user interaction. I'm assuming that you present similar content at other conferences. When you do that, what sort of questions do you get? The one big question uh, which always pops up is Apex and offline. Ah. Uh, uh, so I, it's a discussion. And the answer is it depends. <laughs> um, if you look at uh, mobile development. If I had a dollar for every conversation that, in, in, that I've had with IT people that includes the phrase it depends, <laughs> I'd be driving a Bentley. Yeah. But, I mean, there is, there is. Uh, I can give some uh, some points to to think about. Mm -hmm. So, Apex development is it's data centric. It's uh, um, it's online first. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you want to take that to a mobile device, uh, keep in mind that if your requirement is offline, and and that's the primary requirement, you might not be choosing Apex as the most suitable framework for that. But if you have um, something like notification that your application's offline and you want to just make it convenient for the user not to get any error message, mm -hmm. but, but provide some proper message, uh, that's possible. But there's a degree on, on uh, and, and uh, you have to think of when not and when to use Apex in yeah. a certain case. And you have to think about this on forehand and not just when it's too late. What's the key takeaway for this session? If the audience remembers only one thing from this session, what do you want that to be? Um, the main thing I want the audience to take away is that they don't have to learn new stuff to be able to create appealing mobile applications. So with the features that are built in and knowing how to use them, uh, they are totally capable of building mobile device ready applications uh, almost effortless oh. with new features in, in um, Apex 19.1. What do you hope to learn while you're here at K-Scope 2019? Uh, my primary inter interest is um, everything Apex and cloud related. So how, uh, what is the development uh, of, of Oracle uh, supporting and promoting Apex in the cloud? And that's the, the questions of our customers currently. So lots of customers still are on premise and Cloud is kind of a buzzword, uh, so customers ask us, why should I go to the cloud? What is the benefit and um, how much does it cost? Uh, no. me. So that's, and, and from a technical point of view, I want to learn as much as possible um, and provide that information to our customers. A worthy goal. Well, Christian, thank you for stopping by and sharing your insight, and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more from KScope 2019. I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Groundbreakers team. See you later.